Welcome back. In our previous video, we discussed cells and how all living things are made from them. Today, we're going to go a step further and discuss five major parts of the cell and what they do. By the end of this video, you'll know about multiple parts of the cell, how they work in combination, and the functions of many individual parts as well. Let's make a deal. If you learn something new, then you promise to like the video and subscribe to the channel. There will be a short quiz at the end, so watch the entire video to be sure that you don't miss anything. Okay, let's begin. Cells are the fundamental building blocks of life. Just like a building block, cells are also made up of materials that form their structure. If you observe a block, you can see that it contains internal components. Similarly, a cell also contains small structures called organelles that perform specific functions to help the cell work efficiently. It's important to note that each organelle has a unique role to play and together, they work in harmony to maintain the cell's overall health and functionality. Let's begin with the most crucial organelle of a cell, which is the nucleus. The nucleus is regarded as the cell's brain because it acts as the control center, regulating almost all of the cell's functions. It oversees functions such as water regulation, protein synthesis, DNA production, and waste removal. The nucleus is one of the most recognizable components of the cell and is easily visible under a microscope. The dimensions of a cell are determined by its protective layer, known as the cell membrane. The cell membrane acts as a semi-permeable barrier. This means that it has the ability to selectively allow certain substances to pass through while preventing others from entering or leaving the cell. The membrane can regulate the flow of water and essential materials such as proteins. It allows water to pass through when the cell is dehydrated and releases it when there is an excess. The cell membrane is the outermost layer of most cells and it is responsible for maintaining the shape of the cell. However, plant cells have a unique feature called the cell wall, which serves as their outermost layer instead of the cell membrane. Plant cells contain cell walls which provide an additional layer of support and protection, thus adding strength to the cell. This is why when you eat a salad, parts like carrots, lettuce, and onions feel tougher and have a crunch to them as the cell walls reinforce the plant cells. In trees, the plant cells harden and allow the formation of wood. Without the cell wall, plants would not be able to grow to incredible heights. Plant cells have a unique structure called chloroplasts, in addition to the cell wall. Chloroplasts serve multiple functions, one of which is to produce chlorophyll, the pigment responsible for the green color of plant leaves. The other important function is to facilitate the process of photosynthesis, which converts sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into sugar. This sugar is then transported to another organelle for further processing. Before we discuss this organelle, please consider subscribing to Yo the channel. We will be doing videos on each of the new standards. The more likes and subscribers we receive, the more videos we will do. For those who want to monetarily support the channel, please read the video's description. This helps us continue to produce videos and get the best animations for you. Thank you. Now, back to the video. All cells use sugar to produce energy. The organelle responsible for converting sugar into energy is the mitochondria. The mitochondria's sole purpose is to generate energy, which is why it is often called the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria produces a substance called ATP which can be used by the other organelles in the cell to perform their vital functions. Today's lesson covered a lot of information and we discussed five distinctly different organelles and their functions. Let's review each before we take our quiz. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. Functioning as the control center, the nucleus produces DNA and regulates what should go in and out of the cell through the membrane. The cell membrane is the portion of the cell responsible for the cell's shape and size. The cell membrane is the protective organelle that all materials must pass through before they can enter or exit the cell. Plant cells have an extra layer of protection called the cell wall. 
Cell walls not only provide protection, they also contribute structural strength to the plant. In addition to the cell wall, plant cells have chloroplasts, which create the chemicals responsible for a plant's color. Chloroplasts also convert water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide into sugar. Lastly, the mitochondria is found inside of all cells. The mitochondria use sugar to produce energy and this energy is used by all other organelles in the plant cell. Now that we've reviewed, it's time we take our quiz. Teachers, you can make this video into an ed puzzle or use it as a formative assessment quiz in Google Classroom. The questions are in the description for you to easily copy and paste. Number 1. Which of the following organelles is responsible for producing chlorophyll and conducting photosynthesis? A. Chloroplast. B. Photoplast. C. Chloroplast. D. Photophyll. Number 2. What is one function of the cell membrane? A. To provide the cell shape. B. To provide the cell protein. C. To produce sugar for the cell. D. To produce DNA for the cell. Number 3. Which organelle is unique and only found in plants? A. Cell membrane. B. Cell wall. C. Nucleus. D. Mitochondria. Number 4. Which organelle converts sugar into energy for the cell? A. Cell membrane. B. Cell wall. C. Nucleus. D. Mitochondria. Number 5. What is the nucleus of the cell responsible for? A. To provide the cell shape. B. To provide the cell protein. C. To produce sugar for the cell. D. To produce DNA for the cell. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time. Goodbye.